Hi everyone, hell of a what? We're back again? Yep, we are back again. So, today, as you can see, I'm in the car, to state the obvious. Uh, we're off for a, a little drive and we're gonna go to a place called Spofforth Castle. Now, Spofforth Castle dates back to the 11th century and it was the main seat of the Percy family. They were a very powerful family and one of the most influential and uh, important families in the north of England. Uh, it's owned and managed by the English Heritage and the best thing about it is entrance and parking is free. Yay! Good old Yorkshire folk, we love it free don't we? So come with us, we're gonna have a little wander uh, and when I say us, just as the channel, uh, my wife's not with me today so we're gonna have a wander around this uh, lovely place and apparently it's haunted as well so we may see the blue lady, white lady, whatever lady. Apparently there's a, a ghost of a, a lady or a woman that throws herself off one of the towers there. It's not a huge castle, but it's a nice place to have a look around. So come with us and let's have a little adventure. Okay guys, so we've arrived. We've arrived in the lovely uh, village of Spofforth. Parking was a bit of a nightmare. I had to really uh, look around to find somewhere, so I don't know whether the actual castle's gonna be busy or what, but we've arrived, that's the main thing. So, let's go and have a look around Spofforth Castle. So here we are guys at the uh, ruins of Spofforth Castle. As you can see, it's not the biggest of castles or ruins, but it has got a lot of history and it, it's a really nice place to have a little look around. It does go steeply down because it's built on outcrop. So we're gonna have a look around inside. Let's go. First thing I wanna say is um, I'm quite lucky. I think I've got this place to myself at the moment, which is probably quite rare and as you can see it's not the biggest but nice place to have a little explore as you can see down there there's some stairs that were blocked off they obviously lead back up to where I was a few moments ago yeah, it's got a an air of peacefulness as well, I think. Where I'm standing now would have been the lower level of the castle. As you can see in the rocks up there, that was the first floor. So down here would have been, from what I can see, sort of storage area, maybe servants' quarters, uh, maybe food preparation, things like that. And on the upper level, would have been where they entertained and dined and things like that and lived. So as you can see down here, it rises to an upper level up there. But 
for a nice place to come and have a little explore. This is quite an interesting part of the castle um, because, as you can see up there, that is uh, obviously a tower and there is allegedly a blue lady, I think it is, or a white lady or some form of a woman um, that has been spotted, or the ghost of a woman that's been spotted jumping off and they disappear on impact on the floor. Yeah, it's got an eerie feel about it as well. As you can see up there. So, yeah, there have been reports of uh, sightings of a ghost of a woman jumping off, but only the top half. And I reckon that may have been possibly an oven. You can see down there. I'm guessing that was maybe some sort of a cooking area once. You can actually see the outlines of how the building used to be, the arches. And there's one there as well. So I'm not sure if that was filled in. But there is no way to get up this tower, unfortunately, it's been blocked off. Well, yeah, it's a lovely place to come and have a look around, is this? Afraid it's time for a rant. So I've come to a lovely castle, the ruins of a lovely castle like this, on a lovely day. And lo and behold, what have we got? Down there discarded can of drink or something but just as bad or worse yes dog poo who brings a dog here and leaves a bag of dog poo up there come on absolutely ridiculous just take it away it's a beautiful place it's a lovely castle why would you do that you're lazy you're absolutely lazy take it away take your rubbish away take your dog poo away honestly with the nice little bits of uh, rubbish that people have left you wouldn't believe what i found a rubbish bin, a rubbish bin a few yards away, yeah, lazy, can't be bothered, not great. <laughs>